Hi everyone, let's talk about the handshaking lemma in graph theory. Let's suppose there are n people at a party and some pairs, so we're, we're going to consider unordered pairs of people shake hands. So not everybody shakes hands with each other, but there are a few restrictions that I want to pose. First of all, there's a finite number of people. Secondly, there's no multiple handshakes between people. So there's no multiple handshakes between the same pair. So if if one pair shakes hands once, that's it. The, they don't shake hands again, which makes sense because the same two people, unless there's a mistake, they wouldn't shake hands with each other again. The third condition is that if X shakes Y's hand, Y also shakes X's hand. So it's reciprocal. Uh, it's not like X can shake Y's hand without Y shaking X's hand. And finally I want to say is that X does not shake X's hand. So th there are there's no person who shakes his or her own hand. So in terms of graph theory if these N people are N nodes and the shake hands are the edges between unordered pairs, then the finite people means not an infinite graph. The no multiple handshakes means not a multigraph. The if x shakes y's hand, y shakes x's hand means it's not directed. So there are no arrows, they're just line segments that are the edges. And this one here means no loops. If you don't know what these terms mean, don't worry, you, you, you can just focus on what I wrote in the yellow. If you, don't, if you do know a bit of graph theory, then the stuff in the pink might be helpful for you. So suppose we have a graph like this. What we're gonna do is count the set of V and E such that V is a vertex, E is an edge, and V is a vertex of E. So let me, let me draw a graph for you. Suppose we have one, two, three, four, five people and some of them shake hands. So these two shake hands, these two shake hands, these two shake hands, and these two shake hands. The other pairs don't shake hands. So in that case, what we're gonna be doing is counting the number of vertex and edge pairs that are, co that are adjacent to each other. So there's, there's a couple of ways we can do this. One is by iterating through the edges. So we've got this edge and one vertex, two vertex. So we've got two pairs here. Then we've got this edge with this vertex and this vertex again, so we've got two again. And then we've got this edge with this vertex and this vertex. So again, we have two. And finally, we have this edge with this vertex and this vertex, so again two. So that's equal to two times the number of edges. And in general, that's, that's gonna be true because each edge, if, if, we, if we were to iterate through the edges, then we get the sum of twos iterating over edges in the edge set, which is simply equal to two times the number of edges. So that's the first way of counting it. 
The second way of counting it is to iterate through vertices, which gives us the sum of the degrees of v, such that v is an element of the vertex set. And that's because here, if we were to, say, deal with this vertex, we have its edge here. And if we have this vertex, and we have this edge and this edge, if we had this vertex, we have this edge and this edge. This vertex has this edge and this edge, and this vertex has this edge. So we're, we're just summing up the degrees of the vertices, which is each vert, the number of edges sprouting out of each vertex. So this means that we get the equation, the sum of the degrees of the vertices, of all the vertices, degree of v is equal to 2 times the edge set, the cardinality of the edge set. So that's our first result. That's called the first handshaking lemma. But we can go further to find a very interesting result. So what we'll do is that we'll let v1 be equal to set of vertices of odd degree and v2 equals to set of vertices of even degree. So by this equation here, what we get is that 2 times the cardinality of the edge set is equal to, if we split up the sum, we get v in v1 degree of v plus the sum of v in v2 degree of v. And what we know is that each of these is even by definition. So this is even, and this is 2 times something, so this is also even, which forces this to also be even. And since each of these degrees is odd, there has to be an even number of them. So our conclusion is that the number of people who shook hands with an odd number of people is even. And that's the second handshaking lemma. So let, let's go back to our original graph just to check that it's true. Let's check the degrees. The degree of this one is 1, the degree of this is 2, this is 2, this is 2, and this is 1. If we look at the odd, the number of vertices with odd degree, there's two of them, which is in fact even. So the conclusion that we derive does hold in this case, and of course it holds in general. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.